I, I describe the style as, as photorealist works, but also I try to, to pull away from having a, a, glossy, a glossy finish, basically. So I think from, from a distance, it has a photorealist quality, but up close, it's um, very much more abstract. Lots of, lots of big blocks, big blocks of color. I say my inspirations probably Edward Hopper, definitely for for mood, and a lot of the a lot of the photorealists. So I like um, Richard Estes, Chuck Close, and the the photorealists for the technical side. And then I I like working with a lot more a lot of contemporary guys that are working now as well. So you kind of share the same issues. I heard about them. Through, through Windsor and Newton contacted me from a open studio that, that we did back in Bristol. And so from the catalogue that we produced for the show, uh, Windsor and Newton got in touch because I think obviously they knew the work was, was done in acrylics and yeah, and so they offered to help with the, with the mediums. So we came in and tested them and yeah, it's been great. During the process of the painting, I will use the I use the matte medium just to keep the keep the colours quite muted because I think for all my work, they have, the colours will be very muted throughout. I use the the flow improver just to make a big a big base of colour basically, so that for the larger paintings that can can take up to three months to do, and then I use the varnishes as well at the end for the for the final product before before I frame it. Before I could never keep a base colour for as long as, as I have done on the larger pieces. So it would mean mixing up, trying to mix the same colour up again, which I think sometimes restricts you to using, just being able to use a, a base colour straight from the tube, basically. Whereas this, I've pretty much got the perfect colour and I know it's gonna, gonna last for the duration of the painting. A lot of um, mediums in the past are quite, are quite milky when you use them. And so you have to compensate that into the colour. So I think, yeah, the Windsor and Newton stuff's been very, very clear throughout and so, I and mean, then you're quite confident using it without without it knowing it's gonna it's gonna affect your colour anyway. They've um, definitely helped help bring the work on a lot, and I think if it makes sense, I think they add more weight to the actual painting, so they look a lot more they look a lot more. There's a lot more depth to the paintings basically through them. So yeah, they've been great.